Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the auto recode function in SPSS. In order to do so, I have just preloaded a data set here. This is actually the Census 13 data set that comes in Stata, but I have opened it in SPSS just to show you how auto recode works. And it's going to recode with whatever your variables are. So if you just follow the syntax that I'm going to show you here, you should be fine. What I'd like to do today is recode state. If you look at state, it is a string variable, and we can confirm that by going to variable view here and checking to see that, in fact, it is string. Everything else is numeric, see? So why is that a problem? Well, let's say that later on we want to do a cross-section of states for analysis. We want to exclude some states, include others. That is going to be possible with a continuous or numeric uh, variable here for state, but it won't be possible with a string. So let's say we want to recode this, but we don't want to lose this logic over here. Um, how do we do that? Well, SPSS has, has pretty good syntax for that. It's called auto recode. And the way we access that, we'll start by going to file up here in the top left, new and syntax. And that's going to open up this window here for us. And I'm just going to copy in the code that I've written and that you know you can you can grab from uh, 272analytics.com or you can just imitate it from here. Uh, here's the syntax here, auto recode variables equals state. So I'm just I am auto recoding one variable and it's called state. So that's what I've said here. And then into here is the name of the new variable that it's going into. And I've just gone ahead and called that new state and 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 print. So now we will just run the selection. And that's what we get. Let me just move it into a window for you so you can see it better. There. So that that line here gave us all of this, <laughs> right? Uh, we started out with the string variables here, and they ended up as numeric variables here, and they were all given values. And because these data were in alphabetical order already for state, we didn't have to resort. It's still, you know, really nicely sorted for us. And if you scroll up and down, you can see it was really a perfect carryover from the string versions here to the numeric versions here. Uh, I'd like to go in and just look at that again so you can see what it's like. So when you come over to new state, which is the variable that we created, you just see the numbers. And that might not mean a lot to you, but if you go into variable view and look at our variable and its values, if you click here, you can kind of scroll down and confirm that every number has a corresponding state to it. So, you know, if you forget, you know, you can just check that out over here. And when you're done, some people will, will keep the old variable. And in this case, I recommend it because you might not want to go all the way here every time you want to see what number of state is. Like, let's say you have an outlier or something like that. You know, you, you might want to be able to glance pretty quickly and say, oh, it's showing me that the outlier is state number 20. And what does that mean exactly? Well, if you've got that old uh, string variable preserved here, you can just see, oh, that's Maryland that we're talking about. So that's that's the auto recode function in, in Stata. There's other more advanced stuff that you can do with it, and we will get into that in other tutorials. But the purpose here was just to get you oriented to using auto recode for one variable and opening up a syntax editor to do that with. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them 
into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.